Hey there, you're watching Wildflower Video Tips. I'm Lindsay Moe, and today I'm going to show you how to use top and tail editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. Today's tip is a quick one, but I'm guessing you might not know about it, and once you do, you'll find yourself using it over and over again in your editing. Top and tail editing refers to cutting off the beginning or at the end of a clip. We're going to use the Q and W keys as keyboard shortcuts to do this today. If you prefer to set them to something completely different and custom to you, you can head over to my video about how to create custom keyboard shortcuts, which I have linked right above here. I find top and tail editing most useful when I have already created a rough cut of my video and I want to go in and cut it down for time or just trim up the cuts that I've made. What's great about this is that when you make the cut using the top and tail editing, it automatically ripples the rest of your footage in line with your timeline so you're not needing to go back in and clean up any gaps. You can either do this on the fly, that means while you're watching your footage, or you can go in and go frame by frame and make careful decisions about your edit. Today, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcuts of Q to cut the top of the clip, W to cut the tail, and I'm also going to use the J, K, and L keys to shuttle through my footage. J moves backwards. If you press it more than once, it will speed up backwards. K stops it and L shuttles forwards through your footage. Just like J, if you press it more than once, it will go faster. I have a video here that I'm working on for oatmeal chocolate chip cake. I've already gone through and created a rough cut of the entire video. And I just wanna go in and kind of refine those edits and make sure I can get it down to time. You can see it's currently sitting around two and a half minutes. So I would have a lot of either cutting or changing the speed of the clips to do to get it under a minute if I wanted. Cakes are especially hard to get under one minute. So this one was a real challenge, but I'm just going to show you how I use the top and tail editing. To do this, I have my hands on my keyboard. So my pinky is on A, my finger next to that is on S, D, and F, just like you would be typing. And I'm just going to reach up and use the Q and W keys with my pinky finger and my ring finger when I need it. So Q is going to cut off the beginning of a clip. Let's take a look through here. If I watch it, that clip's good. And that clip gets a little too long. I feel like I could cut it right after the chocolate chips land in the bowl. And I'm just using my arrow keys to move frame by frame. I'm going to wait until they settle just a bit. And so I think we can cut off all of this right here. And I'm just going to use the W key and it cuts it and it ripple deletes the next clip right up next to it. So there's no gap. It's super fast. Let's take a look at this clip and I can even do it while it's playing if I want. So I'm going to play it. And now I'm just going to use the J, K, and L keys to shuttle back and forth. J goes backwards, K stops it, L moves it forwards. And if I go back and watch the clip again, I'm just going to press the Q key when I get to where I want to cut it. Yep, there we go. Perfect. And that one too was a little too long at the beginning. I might start it just where the spoon comes in. I'm going to press Q to cut it and keep going. So you can see this is super fast and easy. It's a great way to save a little bit of time when you're editing. That's it. This is such a quick and useful tip that I think will really help speed up your editing. If you have any questions or you have any other topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, please head over to the Facebook group, which I have linked in the description box below, and drop your comments down there. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today. I hope you found it helpful. Before you head out, I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe right below here so you never miss another video from me. Thanks again so much and we'll see you next time.